Susan Hasmiller serves as the Senior Advisor for Nursing at the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, where she shapes and leads the Foundation's nursing strategies in an effort to create a higher quality of care. In partnership with AARP, Hasmiller directs the Foundation's Future of Nursing Campaign for Action, which seeks to ensure that everyone in America can live a healthier life. She is co-director emeritus of the Future of Nursing Scholars Program, a PhD scholarship program meant to build the leadership capacity of nurse educators and researchers. Susan served with the Health Resources and Services Administration, where she was the executive director of the U.S. Public Health Service Primary Care Fellowship and oversaw other national and international primary care initiatives. A member of the National Board of Governors for the American Red Cross, Susan served as chair of the Disaster and Chapter Services Committee and national chair of the 9-11 Recovery Program. An elected member of the National Academy of Medicine, Susan is a fellow in the American Academy of Nursing and sits on other advisory committees and boards, including the Hackensack Meridian Health System, United Health, Carrier Clinic, and Nurses Everywhere. The recipient of numerous national awards, most notably, Susan received the Florence Nightingale Medal in 2009, the highest international honor given to a nurse by the International Committee of the Red Cross. We are honored to provide you with an honorary degree from the University of Pittsburgh School of Nursing. Thank you so much for this honorary doctorate and for the incredible honor of speaking with you today. I wish we could celebrate your accomplishments in person. I offer you, the graduates of the University of Pittsburgh School of Nursing, my heartfelt congratulations. What an honor. Parents and guardians, family, friends, faculty, and university members, thank you for your unconditional love for these graduates and for supporting them on their journey, especially during this very difficult year. Nurses, you are graduating at a time of increased visibility for our profession, a time when our country is starting to understand our many roles and responsibilities. Some of you have served on the front lines of the pandemic. All of you have seen videos or read stories of nurses during this pandemic of nurses caring for patients when their families could not be in the room. Nurses have risked their lives to care for multiple critically ill patients at once. They've updated family members about the status of their loved ones. They've used their iPads to set up calls between patients and family members to say goodbye after their shifts have ended. They've stayed with their patients so they didn't die alone. They've worn photos of themselves around their neck so that their patients could see what they look like underneath their PPE. This is your profession, and you follow in the footsteps of women and men who have dedicated their lives to service. In short, nurses have given their all and shown once again why we have been repeatedly ranked the most trusted profession. And in spite of the emotions toll that nurses have faced, 75% of nurses in a Robert Wood Johnson Foundation sponsored survey said they would recommend the profession to others. Make no doubt about it, you are part of an amazing profession where you will have the opportunity to impact others each time you start your shift. My advice to you is to turn your career into a calling. Ask yourself, what is your life asking you to do? What are your deepest desires? How can you match your talents with the world's needs? Who are your people and who will you serve? There's no better time to ponder these questions than right now when you've got a multitude of choices before you. Now more than ever, we need to build a fairer and more just world. The COVID pandemic has shown that our world has great needs and grave injustices that we must right, and that meeting those needs and fighting those injustices must be nursing's North Star. While we are all interdependent, we have not experienced the pandemic equally. 
Black, Latino, Indigenous, Pacific Islander, and lower income populations have fared significantly worse. That's because they are less likely to have access to health care, the ability to work from home, and are more likely to live in homes and communities where social distancing is impossible. We must say never again and commit to a more just future. The National Academy of Medicine will release on May 11th, the future of nursing 2020, 2030, charting a path to achieve health equity, a report that I've been working on for more than two years with an esteemed committee. This report gives nurses and our partners in healthcare and communities tools and support to make our country more just and healthy. Please go to the National Academy of Medicine website, read about the report and see how you can get involved. It won't be easy. Our nation's injustices are built upon 400 years of slavery, segregation and systemic racism. No single profession, not even nursing, can dismantle these injustices. But nurses are perfectly positioned to join with other professions to give everyone a fair and just opportunity for help. As a nurse, you bring the gift of healing and understanding of all the factors that affect a person's health, where they live, learn, work, play, and worship. Indeed, nurses, you have a responsibility and an obligation by virtue of your education at the University of Pittsburgh to promote health and well being, no matter where and how you practice. Our profession has fantastic leaders and role models who are creating a more just future. Take Kathy Elliott, a Pittsburgh nurse. She runs Gwen's Girls, an organization that seeks to empower girls and young women to have productive lives through holistic, gender-specific programs, education, and experiences. She oversees the See the Best in Me, an initiative focused on the development of healthy self-esteem and critical thinking and advocacy skills that will enable girls to better understand and express themselves about the issues that affect them daily. In 2016, she convened 200 experts from the education, child welfare, healthcare, and juvenile justice fields for a Black Girls Equity Summit. Elliot then organized four work groups that meet monthly to collaborate on addressing inequities in health and wellness, school pushout and discipline, child welfare, and juvenile justice. She exemplifies nursing leadership at its best. As you start or continue your careers, you can follow in her footsteps and, can, and countless other nurses like her. Build expertise around your passion, read everything you can, conduct research, publish and present on your area of expertise, and then raise your hand when it comes to serving on a committee and drafting policy. The world is run by those who show up. Consider volunteering right away. I developed many of my leadership skills through the Red Cross when I was a new nurse. Seek out mentors, build relationships, pursue leadership, develop the political and policy competency skills to implement health promoting policies. Be front and center when it comes to advocacy. Sit at policy making tables and emphasize policies that benefit people, families, and communities. As you gain more experience, get involved in or form multi-sector partnerships to improve health. Meeting the world's needs is too big of a problem for just one sector, even nursing to take on, but nurses can join with a broad array of partners to do one part within healthcare. And the moral imperative is clear. Our country has reached an inflection point now. It will be up to each of us to do our part to create a fairer and more just world. Nelson Mandela, the late president of South Africa once said, we can change the world and make it a better place. It is in our hands to make a difference. I can't wait to see how you will use your nursing expertise to advance health equity and better our world. May your career be your calling, your core value, 
compassion, and your mission, justice. Thank you and congratulations. <laughs>